How you doing guys? Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Sharp Moves. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be washing the car, the Infiniti. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my last video. You can take a look at it uh, up there um, or in the description. Um, but we went through detailing the vehicle through a $5 car wash. Um, and if you watch that video in its entirety, you'll see um, you know, how low the quality was of the car wash. Uh, so today, because it's such a gorgeous day outside, um, I wanted to sort of take the opportunity to do a full sort of complete babying of my, of my infinity. There she is. Um, and just kind of go through some step-by-step -step ways um, that I like to wash the car. Um, that being said, um, I'd love you guys in the comment section to write um, back to me and uh, just let me know your thoughts. You know, let me know if you think I'm doing things sort of the right way, the wrong way. If you think I'm a goofball and you know I shouldn't have done things, you know, a certain way, uh, definitely let me know because I'm, I'm certainly interested in, in hearing, you know, if there are ways to improve on uh, on the way I do it. I'm gonna kind of do the two bucket method, um, you know, one panel at a time. You know, one panel wash you know dry it off move on to the next one um but yeah let, come at me at, uh, in the in the comment section let me know what you guys uh what you guys think all right let's get to it all right guys so before we get started i just wanted to show you guys the the products that i like to use um i think this you know the products you're using there's no right or wrong it's kind of just a you know you know test it out see if it works for you see if it works for your car and then kind of evolve from there so you know the products i'm kind of going with here you can see these you know a lot of jay leno products um you know I, some some of you guys are probably going to say that's a little gimmicky but you know the guy's been in the car industry for a long time he knows his cars go check out his car collection um he's a pretty reputable guy so i mean when he puts out a product um you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it's going to be a, a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent product. He's got a whole range of, uh, of products. You know, here I'm only using his his wash, his basic sort of wash. You know, the soap sort of suds, and then his wheel um, sort of wheel cleaner. So this is a spray on. You know, you wait for a little while, and then wash it off. Pretty simple. I'll probably get in there after I spray it on. I'll probably get in there and, and move it around. And um, but pretty pretty simple sort of stuff. Um, I have been using this product for a while. You know, I've got a 2011 Infiniti um, and the headlights, as you can see here, let me just go a little closer. The headlights are really sort of fading quite a bit on both sides. Um, so this product, you know, kind of, you know, I wouldn't say it works 100%, doesn't turn the, the headlights into brand new headlights, but it definitely gives them a little bit of life and it almost looks like there's an Infiniti. Um, it almost looks like the, the, the product is meant for an Infiniti. There's a little Infiniti there on the front. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna use this. This is kind of like after everything's done, just wipe it on, give it a good sort of rub um, and you get some pretty decent results. So I'll use that at the end. And then I'm pretty new to the, um, the wax game. I was thinking, you know, I was just at the store, just at Pet Boys and I had some pretty high quality um, turtle wax compound set up and I was just about to buy it. And then I was like, you know, hold on a second. I don't really know anything about um, how to wax a car. And I, you know, short of coming off like an idiot in front of all my viewers, as I tend to do pretty often, as I as I continue to learn during this, these videos, um, I decided to go with a wax and dry. So, you know, after you've washed your car and rinsed it off, this is the next step. You know, spray it on let it let it dry let it sort of soak in let it do its magic then dry it off and get that same sort of effect probably not going to get this the 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 results you get if you really sort of dried it then waxed it and buffed it um but this will do for for now i think for today um again i encourage you guys to in the comments to let me know you know how you guys like to do it your techniques you know where i messed up i'm sure there'll be areas where i messed up and um you know how uh, how i could be better and how how um you know how we all could be better uh, going forward. I'm gonna use the two bucket sort of technique. And when I say that, you know, one's gonna be filled with hot water. The other one's gonna have all my suds and soap, my Jay Leno soap. Um, and I'm just gonna go back and forth. You know, the, the hot water bucket, um, you know, so I'm familiar with is, you know, so that you're not transferring all the grit and grime from the, from the car. Um, you know, right back onto the vehicle um, and scratching the car. So, you know, you get suds, get suds on the clean sort of loofah, you know, wipe a panel, clean a panel nicely, dunk it into the into the hot water, and then back into the suds, um, so it's nice and clean. Okay. So from here, we're gonna go and we're uh, I'm gonna fill up uh, 
these both both these buckets of hot water and get some soap going on and then uh, we'll start with uh, with one of the panels. Let's get her going. I did my technique, you know, two times per panel, um, and I think it turned out pretty well. Look, it's uh, sun is shining. Take a look at how that looks. Let's go over where the where the sun is shining. That obviously doesn't look too good. Um, and take a look at how it's how it's turned out so far. Looks pretty good, eh? Looks, definitely looks good on the on the black. 
So in saying that, I think the biggest thing that I learned from, you know, from washing it this time is that if you really, really are thorough um, and you thoroughly go through the, the washing process twice, you almost always pick up on the second time, you almost always pick up on some dirt or some like new little sort of, you know, black marks or something like that. So if you have that two-step process with the two bucket process, um, your car is going to be thoroughly, much more thoroughly done in the end. Um, so that's, that's something that I definitely noticed along the way, um, you know, for feedback for all you guys. But definitely, again, uh, in the comments, hit me up and, and let me know what you think, okay? Let's move to the uh, spray and wax. So it's a spray wax. We're going to be spraying it on um, and then drying it right after, okay? So let's get to it. Just trying to use the round sort of circular motion. Really thorough as I, as I go. This stuff smells amazing. It smells like coconut. Love it. Alright, first panel down. Alright, moving on to the side panels now. I'm not sure if it's picking up on the on the camera, but it's coming out. The paint is coming out absolutely amazing. It's glimmering. It's beautiful. The white. As you can see, guys, I'm trying to use a circular motion as I do it. You know, to get the get the wax all moving around. I'm constantly folding my towel, so I'm not using any wet spots. Stress enough how amazing this product is. Take a look at it. All right, just making the paint just absolutely shine. Whatever I've done with the soap, it's just literally just just enhancing all of that and making it glimmer in the in the sunlight. So definitely, if you if you're in the market, you know, for for waxing, and if you really want your car, obviously you do. If you're watching this video, if you really want your car to shine. This is where it's at. All right, guys, little first person uh, point of view here, getting the the other side complete here. All right, so spraying it on. Getting it all thoroughly over the panel. All right, car should still be a little bit wet. Obviously the sunlight's kind of, you know, drying it off naturally. Guys, it's turning out so nice. I don't know if you guys can see that, see that glimmer there in the sun? Moonlight white. That's the turtle wax sort of phase finished. Um, again, you guys should be able to see this. It's looking really, really good in the sunlight. Um, I, hope, I hope the sun is able to pick up on it because um, it's really sort of glimmering. I'm trying to catch it on this sort of right angles, but the sun keeps on moving. Um, but it's really, really sort of turning out well. Um, you know, the turtle wax was like a $10 product. It's really, really well worth it. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the tires, okay? Back to the Jay Leno product. Let's go get that product over here. So back to the Jay Leno, you know, Jay Leno's Garage Advanced Vehicle Care products, okay? Um, today we're going with wheel cleaning solution, okay? So let's uh, let's see how this stuff looks. Just quickly before we get to it, um, you know, the steps to doing this is, you know, what it wants is us to, to sort of get the rims sort of cool to the touch, spray on a really, really good amount of this wheel and tire stuff. Um, let it stand for about two minutes, three minutes, so everything can sort of seep in. Then with a cleaning brush, really get in there, seep it around, um, you know, you know, get all the dirt sort of moving around, all the brake dust moving around. Uh, rinse it off really thoroughly and, uh, and then get the microfiber, you know, clean microfiber towel and go to it again, really, really sort of, you know, finish it off with a nice drying, okay? 
So um, I'm gonna demo that here on one uh, tire, and then I'm gonna move through on my own and finish the other, or excuse me, one wheel, and then I'm gonna move through and finish the other three rims on my own, all right? Let's go. super super wet that's why I went and changed my clothes uh, we're just gonna move on to the headlight uh, sort of you know polishing and uh, shining um, let's just put a little bit of applicator okay this is the product again I showed you remember guys if you want the description to any of the pro of the products to buy for yourself it's gonna be in the link below okay in the description below right so just putting a little bit of the applicator onto the towel okay coming down to the headlight I'm just giving her a nice sort of shine just trying to get all around onto every single bit of it so you can see what's coming off the, the towel. It's, that's, that's goodness, but make sure that you're always switching and turning the towel. And you'll see the shine starts to come out a little bit. Hopefully it's picking up that on the, uh, on the, the camera. But take a look at that versus that, right? That's quite a bit of difference. This is where it sort of ends, but you can see that the applicator is actually pretty effective. It works pretty well. So let's put a little bit more on here. Okay, about that much. Okay, and then we're gonna go again. All right. Trying to avoid the paint if you can. Just trying to stay onto the headlight. All right. It's pretty crazy how a product like this can be so effective. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Really trying to get in there. You'll feel once once the product is starting to take effect, you'll feel that it's it starts to slide along the headlight instead of sort of giving and biting with the towel. It'll start to just slide. See that, how it's kind of sliding? All right, there you go. So that's the finished product. Let's take a look at that one. That's the finished product there. Okay, let's move over to one that's, that's dull and not finished yet. All right, right here. And you can see complete difference, right? Good. All right guys, hope you got something out of that video. This is the completed, finished version. Um, so we used Jay Leno's product uh, for the car wash. Uh, soap. We used his product for the, the wheel and tire cleaner. Um, we used the turtle wax uh, to wax the car after it was uh, after it was done and dried. And then we used this product, the, the Meguiar's Plastex, to do the headlights. Um, I think on the whole, um, you know, versus a, a five dollar car wash, this turned out way better, miles, miles better. Uh, what I want you guys to do if you're watching this video is go and take a look up, up here at my $5 car wash video and you'll see the differences. You'll see how much more thorough of a job we were able to do here. Um, and, and just kind of, you know, $5 car wash versus this. This was a little bit more tedious, but, um, you know, definitely, definitely getting more out of, uh, out of the job. Okay, um, as always, um, if you find these videos uh, help, uh, helpful, useful, um, continue to like and, uh, and browse the channel a little bit. But before I say uh, subscribe, I had my neighbor's little boy who kind of stumbled upon us while we were doing this video uh, to do my little outro for me, okay? So we're gonna clip to him right now. Um, have yourselves a good day. I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye. Yeah, we're here. We're here. We're here. Bye.